everyone. The other day we were talking about our hormones and things that we can do. And I am making up a roller bottle to uh, develop some new habits. And I thought I would just jump on and share with you what I'm doing. So I first, am, I have just a roller bottle. If you haven't used roller bottles or made your own roller bottles before, you can get them right online. doTERRA has some right on the website. So you can get them there or grab some from online. There's different colors. These are fun blue ones. They have all sorts of different creative things that you can do. So grab a roller bottle. These are 10 mil. They have five mil if you want a smaller one, but 10 mil, and then you add in your oil. So whenever I'm making a roller bottle, I aim to have the end result anywhere from um, like 30 to 40 drops of the oil. So it just depends. So the first roller bottle that I'm going to make is for my thyroid. And with this, what will the end game is rather than constantly having to take bottles off, or the tops off of bottles and apply multiple oils and worry about diluting. What's cool is when you make a roller bottle, you can add the oils that you want in and then fill it with fractionated coconut oil. So it's already diluted and then you just rub it on. So this one for thyroid will sit next to where I brush my teeth. And then every morning I just grab it, rub it on my thyroid. And um, so my this roller bottle, the intention of this is to help out with more of the sluggish, but it's thyroid health in general. So the first oil that I'm going to put in is frankincense. And the reason for frankincense is it is a phenomenal oil for cellular health. And for me, one of the things that impacts my thyroid is, or did impact my thyroid was I have my body has a tendency to have more cystic growth. I think it's very common. And so the, I had some nodules on my thyroid, which was prior to being introduced to this lifestyle. So I had it removed and I have a quarter of my thyroid remaining. So this is something that I'm doing now to, to really keep, um, to be more proactive with my thyroid. So I just did 10 drops of frankincense. The other one is, that I'm going to add in is lemongrass. And I'm going to just do 10 drops of that as well. Lemongrass is a great oil for overall thyroid health. Blue tansy, another one that is great for thyroid health. And if you don't have all of these, you can make your roller bottle with what you do have. And then the nice thing is as you add oil, oils into your stash, you can put them into this roller bottle. So you'll just take it off and um, add it in. Blue Tansy is coming out a little bit slower. 10 drops of this as well. I'm just gonna hang on for quite a while here. Okay, so that's blue tansy. Then the next one that I'm gonna add in is clove. Clove is great for antioxidants. It's also great for the thyroid health in general, but clove is ranked the highest on the ORAC score. And our thyroid is really susceptible to toxins. So it's great to add that in. And then also just for overall thyroid health. So again, 10 drops of clove. And then the last one is myrrh. So if you think about frankincense and myrrh being some of those really ancient oils, myrrh is also a great one for overall health in the body, great for the thyroid. So I'm gonna, I take, myrrh is a thicker oil and I always have a hard time with the stopper on this. So when you have a thicker oil, if you're struggling to get it out, you can just, whoops, pull that stopper right out and then pour it in and just be careful. So I'm not, this isn't super measured, but I'm gonna do about what I would think is about 10 drops. And then you can get like some, sometimes when you get roller bottles, they come with this little funnel. If you don't have a funnel, you can use a pipette or a syringe. And then you just top off the roller bottle the rest of the way, put the top on, 
and then you have it. It's right there by your bathroom, wherever, get into a routine that's, for me, if it's an easy routine that I can add into my day, then I am more likely to do it. So my thought is a roller bottle is a great way to be able to get a quick, easy routine, just taking off the top of this fractionated coconut oil, but if it's a quick, easy routine, we're gonna do it. So that's a great roller bottle, have something for your thyroid. The other thing, if you want to stimulate your thyroid, add in some peppermint. I just don't have the peppermint right next to me or else that's one that I would add in as well. So you can, I'll be adding the peppermint in later, add that in if you have more of the sluggish thyroid and then you'll just fill it to the top. I think sometimes making a roller bottle feels intimidating for people and it really doesn't have to be because you can't go wrong. You're just putting oils in to um, help out with the target area. So if you're not, we're gonna do a class coming up on how to use the, re, the resource guide. And, um, but just a general rule, if you just have your Modern Essentials book and you look up whatever your health concern is, and then you um, add in the oils in the roller bottle, about 10 drops each, you have what you need. That Just take those oils that it's listed, are great for it, put it in a roller bottle, boom, you have a little thyroid roller. So that's for thyroid. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is some support for adrenals, kidneys, just overall helping. I am doing the cleanse right now. And one of the things, the reasons why I am doing a cleanse, which if you haven't done one, and especially if you're wanting to focus on hormones, I think it would be awesome to, to join in and do a cleanse. Um, maybe the, the next time, or if you want to get started now, I'm happy to share resources. But for me, I had, Madeline is a year, 14 months. So I was pregnant. I have a, a sluggish thyroid to begin with. And then I was pregnant and then nursing, not having great amounts of sleep. So I've just been really tired. And then for me, when I'm tired, my eating slips. So the, it's been the perfect storm. And I'm really just trying to be more intentional around the foods that I'm eating, how I'm taking care of my body and, and supporting it. So the next one that I'm doing is for like adrenals and just helping with that sluggish. So basil is the first one. Uh, so now I'm making a, another roller bottle. This roller bottle I'll be adding on like my lower back and, and um, stomach, helping out with that. So three, four, five. so I'm gonna do basil, 10 drops. Um, the next one I'm going to do is geranium. And then the last one I'm going to do is Ylang Ylang. These are great for calming. If we are, are in that chronic stress on our body, whether we realize it or not, these are great that are comforting oil. So they're going to help with that chronic stress. Basil is great for the adrenals. So helping out with that and just giving some support there. So um, I'm just doing the three of those. So it was just a recap, basil, Ylang Ylang, and geranium. Whoops. Putting the funnel in and then putting the top on. Another couple of habits that I'm being extra diligent about, Lifelong Vitality is one that I always take. It's a great oil, or I'm sorry, great supplement for overall health in the body. So I'm doing super diligent with Lifelong Vitality. And then the other things that I'm adding on right now, as I'm really just trying to rejuvenate and renew my body is the phytoestrogen, which I typically take that all the time. And then, you know, we sometimes we fall out of habit. So just getting super intentional daily, the phytoestrogen to help with hormones, cleaning out those xenoestrogens in the body. So being really diligent with that. And then the third thing that I'm being extra diligent about right now is taking Mito2 Max, because that's, again, a great way to help with the hormones in the body, help with the energy, help to get rid of that sluggish thing. And then Right now I mentioned I'm doing the cleanse. So those are just some, some things. And then these roller bottles, just to give you, so the thyroid gonna be, I mentioned right next to where I brush my teeth, apply just like that right over the neck. And then the, the other one for the adrenals, I'm doing this more like on my back. 
stomach, but again, right next to where I typically get dressed so that before I put my clothes on or when I get changed at night, I'm, I'm able to just roll it on. And if we have easy habits, we're more likely to stick with it. So those are two things that you can do. I'd love to hear if you're adding that into your routine. Great way to help your thyroid, great way to help your adrenals and support your body. Cool. That's all for today. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you later.